What is this? A traffic circle? Why? This confuses people. It confused Homer Simpson when he got stuck in one in Europe. I see an opening. That's it. I'm acting the way America acts best. Unilaterally. I too assumed roundabouts cause problems. But it turns out that although Britain has lots of them, their overall rate of traffic fatalities is well less than half the U.S. rate. That's from a Freakonomics podcast featuring the town with the most roundabouts in America, Carmel, Indiana. Its mayor is Jim Brainerd. You got 133 of them in your little town? It's crazy. We've converted almost all of our traffic lights to roundabouts because we save lives. Roundabouts do save lives. This study found roundabouts had slightly more crashes, but many fewer deaths and injuries. It's because of the angle of the cars. Instead of a T-bone, you get a side swipe. Also because cars slow down. You see somebody do something, you're about to have an accident, you have more time to brake. Slowing people down, though, makes it seem like it'll take longer for cars to get through intersections. It really doesn't. The statistics are that a roundabout moves 50% more traffic than a traffic light. Let's drive! The show Mythbusters did their own test and confirmed that compared to stop signs... The roundabout is a more efficient way to move cars through an intersection. Not only that. How many times have we been frustrated sitting at an intersection where you're the only car there and you've got the red light and you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting for that light to change? And not only that. When there are storms, some stoplights stop working. You know, how many times have we driven up to a stoplight after a storm and you see a police officer there directing traffic? Well, you're paying that police officer a lot of money. Sorry about the wait, folks. Here we go. Around about, they just keep functioning. That saves so much money. On top of that. They're better for the environment. You never come to a complete stop at the roundabout. Tremendous amounts of fuel are saved. And finally. They just flat out look better than what you have at a traditional traffic signal. This realtor says roundabouts increase property values. It just adds more green space. It's beautiful. Many places put artwork in the middle. So to sum up, it's safer, costs less, and it's better for your community. And yet Americans say, oh, I don't want these things. They're confusing. I'm more likely to have an accident. Well, it takes public education. I guess what we do is just drive around this circle here. It should be the second left. One reason Americans resist is that we've watched movies like this. I know. I can't seem to get over to the left, honey. I'll try next time. Sorry. He's unable to exit all day. It's amazing. I cannot get left. Chevy Chase didn't do us any favors. Chevy Chase got stuck in one of Europe's big rotaries. When they're this big... What, 10 lanes? Those are dangerous. That's not what we're building. They're actually more dangerous than traffic lights. Modern roundabouts are small. The smaller they are, the safer they become. Uh, they're very different. Europe's now learned that lesson. They're building lots of small roundabouts. America is way behind on this. America is catching up on roundabouts. When I started, we probably had under a couple hundred in the United States. Today, we're pushing five or 6,000. Intersections that are safer, cheaper, and look better. American politicians just don't want to do this. Well, most American politicians don't want to take a risk that might get them unelected. That's why little Carmel, Indiana, has about 2% of all the roundabouts in America. Please share and like this video. That helps us out. And if you want to help us make more of these, click that button.